Hey guys, welcome to the molding and casting tutorial. And for this one, we're gonna focus specifically on action figure heads. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is spray the insides of these containers with this mold sealant and release. And then I'll spray them again once I have um, the heads inside too. Okay, so right now I'm going to attach uh, some Sculpey to the top of the head and place it in this container. And I want equal distance on all sides, and I want it to sit deep enough so that um, the rubber will go to the very top mm -hmm. and encase the whole thing. Alright. Okay, so what I want to do for this helmet is I'm going to place the Sculpey on the top just like the head, but usually my heads I'll cast them uh, like bald and then sculpt hair on the cast if I need to. This helmet has sculpted details on top, so what I'm going to do is place the clay on a kind of a blank spot because when I demold this, the cast of this is going to be all one resin piece, and this is called flash, this excess stuff that comes up through the vents and the pore spout. Um, and I'm going to have to sand and cut that off, so I want to make it in a spot that I won't have to uh, re sculpt any detail. So sticking up like that. And I'll stick that down in here. Alright, I'm going to spray all these heads one more time now that they're in their respective containers just to make uh, releasing them easier. Alright, so I'm going to stir these before I mix them together. This is part B, and this is part A of the silicone rubber. All right, now I'm gonna mix part A, or stir it, I should say. And I'm gonna go ahead and, these are uh, more viscous than I thought, but I'm still gonna shake them by hand for like 60 seconds because that's how I'm used to doing it. Um, even after I've stirred them, and then I'll mix them in uh, that plastic cup and then stir them again. Alright, now I'm going to pour part A and B in this cup, and I have the predetermined lines right here, half and half, and then I'm going to mix them together thoroughly. And this should be more than enough to fill these uh, mold containers. All right, so here's part B, and I'm going to pour that again to the second fill line. All right, so I'm mixing them together, and I'm using this uh, stirring stick, and I want even color and no streaks even on the sides, so this is a good minute or two at least. And I already measured... Um, Based on the containers, I want to fill how much liquid I think I'll need. And this stuff starts to set up relatively fast. And you won't get all of your uh, part A and B back because it'll, it likes to stick to the sides of the container. Alright, so the most important thing when you pour is to minimize air bubbles, which are going to form when you're stirring. So the best way to do that is start um, this is a circular form, but start like in the corner or where the corner would be. And what you do to minimize air bubbles is you raise it up and you get that long ribbon. And it's difficult to speak and do this because it's taking um, a large amount of like wrist control. So you just kind of hold it there. 
and let a steady stream go and fill up uh, the space and cover the whole thing. And this can take a little bit. But this really is the best way to get rid of air bubbles. And there might always be some, but I expect that. And I, uh, I always figure that I might have to do some sculpting on the cast themselves. Alright, so now we're going to demold this and take the Legos apart and we'll have um, Gabriel's unmasked head is in here. So I'm going to mark which way the face is pointing. That way, when I cut it open, uh, the seam lines will be along the sides of the head and not along the face. And on the bottom, you can see right here is that piece of Sculpey and that's going to form the vent that we're going to pour the resin into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this open. Here's an example of one. So you can see I labeled it F for front right here and then I cut it open along the side and there's the detail. And then what I go in and do is I cut these vents that you see. Those are those leading up so that when I pour the resin in there, the air has somewhere to escape and there's less chance for uh, bubbles and you get a good cast out of that. Okay, so I'm going to cut this open and I'm going to take the head out. And what I'm going to do is, since this is the front, I'm going to cut along the sides so the ears, really. Um, and I'm going to cut using a zigzag pattern. So just moving the knife back and forth. And that's going to make it so... Uh, the mold will key together easily um, when it so when it um, joins back together, and I pour the resin. In. So now I peel it apart slowly, and I cut very gently along the head sculpt in there, just barely touching with the exacto blade. And then once I get about maybe two thirds of the way down, you can see right there. Then I want to pull it out, so open it. Make sure the cut goes deep enough down here. And then I'm going to pull that out. Alright, so there's the head. There's the mold on that. And I might trim away some of the stump in the neck, just so there's more room for the resin. But this looks to be pretty good. Obviously, I can't tell until I pour it in there and I see what the cast is like, um, if there are any major bubbles. But right now, I'm gonna carve in the vents. So what I do is I prop it open a little bit. And I usually do this near the back of the head or where there's no detail, never near the face. So, starting in here, I cut up like that. And then just sort of angle it in so it takes away the material. Um, and then I can pull it out like that. So, so there's one right there. I'm going to do that on the other side. Alright, so I have two vents in here, and now I'm going to mix up some resin and then make a cast and see how this turned out. Alright, so now I'm going to mix the resin. Uh, this is part A and part B. Each of them shook for roughly a minute each. And this is Smooth Cast 325, and that is made for these pigments. So this will absorb the pigments uh, way more than, for example, I was using Smooth Cast 300. Um, so when I put uh, a, a fair amount of black in there, it would just turn this gray color. 
But this one, you have to be very careful how much you put in. You have to put in a small, small, small amount and it'll absorb it. Otherwise, um, you'll lose the integrity of the resin when it comes out. So I'm gonna pour these in. And I can see because the light is shining through these plastic cups, I can see where the fill level is gonna be. So I'm just gonna eyeball it how much I think I'll need. All right, and then the pigment is going to be mixed into part B. So here's the black pigment, and I'm going to put a tiny amount uh, on the tip of this brush handle right here. Maybe like that. We'll see how that goes. And I'll mix that in. And just as long as the resin isn't stark white, um, that'll do for me. So we'll see what we can get. The instructions give you percentages uh, that you want to match, but at this small of a measurement, it's really hard to be specific with that without like an eyedropper and a syringe. So we'll see how this turns out. So that's pretty well mixed. And then I'm gonna mix part A and B like this, just to get a good even mix. All right, and then I'll mix that thoroughly. And this sets up really fast, maybe like 10 minutes even, before it turns to a gel, and then even that'll start to solidify as you're pouring it in motion. So you wanna go really quick. Um, I might just mix this for maybe 30 seconds even, because it's such a small amount. make sure you get it nice and mixed. And then when I pour it in the molds, uh, another way to reduce air bubbles is, while it's still got a good consistency, liquid consistency, you move the mold around, and I'll show you right now to make sure it covers everything. So I have Black Widow, I'll do Joker, Arkham City Joker. So let's start with Gabriel's unmasked head right here. And just pour steady stream okay and when it rises to the top and you can see it start to come out of the vents and I'll just move that around to make sure I get the ears and all the facial details in there okay so some things to consider uh, many of these heads in the back right here were casted using Smooth On's uh, Smooth Cast 300, and that's a resin uh, that will just dry white. Um, and for this video, I used 325, which is pigmentable, and that one, if you don't add any pigment, will be near translucent. That way, it can absorb all the pigment. Um, and you get a pure like colored cast So this Joker head right here was I used 300 and I put in some black and since it dries white it made it a gray This one was cast using 325 and since I put in black It's a pure black so that's just to keep in mind when you cast and if you want to try out the pigment what you're gonna get um, How much you want to dilute it? So here's just here's another cast uh, of this Arkham City Joker head. I'll take that flash off the top. So this one, I put a very little amount of black in, the 325. So it's actually gonna be semi-translucent as opposed to gray. All right, and I have these vents and you can just take them off like that. Um, and it will continue to harden outside the mold. So aside from these air bubbles, and that could just be a failure on my part to move move the liquid around enough, all the detail is intact. You're just gonna get this. This is just how this particular resin dries with this translucent. But once you put a coat of primer over that or something, you'll see all the details are there.